got a million dollar SaaS idea, but don't know how to execute on it, don't know where to start. How do you write a PRD? How do you get the environments correct? How the hell do I build it? How do I design it? In this video, I'm gonna show you how we're gonna use Chat LLM by Abacus AI, and we're gonna rebuild a massive billion dollar business, reverse engineer everything, and then I'm gonna show you how to improve it. So whether you have an idea in your brain or you are looking for how to clone a competitor, this is for you. This is gonna be the ultimate guide on creating the most comprehensive product requirement document and reverse engineering a business you've ever seen. So by the end of this video, you're not only gonna know how to build your idea, you're gonna be able to know how to clone any idea with all the details for your development team, for your business team, for your marketing team, and you're gonna be able to do it all automatically, hands off, literally watching an agent do it. One prompt. But here's our prompt. I want to improve product hunt. Can you come up with a complete plan, a PRD, which is a product requirement document, and everything we need to reverse engineer this whole business? I also want you to suggest five improvements that we can do for this project to make a difference, more streamlined, more efficient, more simple version that is easy to navigate. So this is the idea. We're not recreating product hunts. That's not what I do, but I wanna see if there is an idea that this can come up with, this deep agent can come up with to help us make it better. And maybe they see this and maybe they do these suggestions, but I'm just curious and try to push this agent to see what it can come up with. So if you guys aren't familiar with Chat LLM, it is by Abacus AI. All the links are below. Appreciate you guys always. We have fun building these different products, cloning businesses, making them better, showing you how the whole process works. All right, here we go. So it's off and running. So the deep agent is now going to do all of the steps that would normally take us weeks to do, plan it out. It's gonna go through, look at product hunt, how it's all set up. And the, the whole idea with this is like all of these legacy companies are gonna get replaced. Whether we do it or somebody else does it, there is gonna always be the new kid in town, the hot new website. So why can't it be us? That's kind of our attitude, right? With all this stuff. And this happens to everyone. So now the agent is gonna go in. It's gonna obviously do the research first. So this is the difference between a deep agent and just like having a chat with ChatGPT or even an automation because we needed to kind of go in, break down the product, then it needs to use the brain of actually how to put together a product with code, create the PRD for us, lay everything out, use reasoning, to come up with a good, clever way of being different. So all of it's gonna be done in one place and then it's all gonna do it together as one. So, and we're not gonna have to do anything. Like I said, I'm, this is one prompt. This deep agent can do so much for you. It kind of blows your mind. If you guys check out my other videos on this channel, I've actually used the deep agent to create, you know, plans for my trip for two weeks. I just booked a cruise using the agent where it just went in and found all the cruises around the country. So those were like travel related ideas, but then we were able to build all kinds of automations. I did a Gmail um, agent that goes in and scans my Gmails in real time and pulls the important relative information that I actually need for the different collaborations I'm working on. I mean, this thing can do so many different things. It could take control of a browser. So if you wanted to go in and do research for you, it can do that. I mean, sky's the limit. And here's the crazy part. This thing is 10 bucks a month. Um, yeah, 10 bucks per user build monthly. And the great thing about it is it uses all the different large language models. So it has, I think, 24 up to this point. So the newest one, Sonnet 3.7, Llama 3, Gemini 2.5, DeepSeek V3, and anything new that's coming, you're gonna be able to actually use it. So that's kind of a little plug for them, but they deserve it. I've been using this thing every single day it's pretty much replaced my ChatGPT flow. I still pay for ChatGPT because of the image generation, but everything else I'm pretty much using this exclusively now just because it has all the power in it. And then not to mention, it has so many other tools. So let me just kind of briefly touch on that. So one, it has DeepAgent, then it has Code LLM, where it's an actual IDE that lives on your computer, similar to Windsurf or Cursor, all built in, all on your desktop and of course free of charge. So now you have this and this has access to all the language models, same as chat LLM, which is nuts. So that's one little, little thing. 
Um, it has operator, so it's able to take control of your browser. So you can give it information like, hey, go and find me this or go and book me a trip for a restaurant or whatever the hell you're doing. So that's another big one. And then it has apps. So this is create any app. So if you guys look in here, I did luxury cruise Mexico, top 25 shop store data, um, growth strategies for 2025, a profile link extractor. I did all of this using chat LLM. So sky's the limit. It's got all these different features. The fact that it's all in one is pretty crazy. All right, so let's see where we're at here. So product requirement document, AI product hunt, vision statement, the mission, key differences. Okay, so let's see what the differences are. AI specific forum, unlike product hunt discovery platform, we exclusively showcase AI tools with the emphasis on no code solutions. That's cool. Streamline UI with one click description and swipe interface for rapid product discovery. I do like that. I think that's very unique. We know that works with the swipe dating apps. Technical concept translated into plain language for non-developers. I like it. Direct connection to tutorials and use cases for feature tools. Oh, that's kind of cool. Uh, community engagement. Engaged interactive feature designed specifically for the AI community. Yes. User personas. No code creator. Maya. Then we got the AI enthusiast. Alex. Professional implementer. Priya. And casual browser. Jordan. User stories and journeys. We got the creator journey. Oh, I like that actually. That's kind of cool. So we we showcase the different creators. Oh, it's still going. This thing is still cooking. So you guys can see that was one prompt and this thing is still actually coming up with the whole game plan because we did give it a pretty comprehensive prompt as far as like, let's, let's rework, rebuild, restructure and clone this whole thing and make it better. So when the, when this is all said and done, this thing is going to definitely be a pretty, pretty comprehensive breakdown. So we'll wait till it's finished here. If you guys haven't checked out my stuff before, my name is Marcin AI. I run a community called the No Code AI Army, where we got everybody in here from no code devs to full stack developers. We're at 4,731 people creating, building, collaborating, doing all kinds of crazy stuff. Here's somebody that just launched their new app. We got somebody that actually recently got featured on Product Hunt for their product and everything is in here. It's all free, 100% for you guys. So definitely go check that out below. Little, little selfless plug, but it's all to help you guys. If you haven't started building, get in there, start building and let's freaking do this. Yeah, the main thing with this stuff is I just want you guys building, you know, watch these tutorials and you know, these aren't gonna be super crazy technical because that's not my jam. My jam is to help beginners get people started, build their first product, keep learning, keep pushing the boundaries of what you can actually achieve. If you're a full stack guy, obviously you already know this stuff. But for most people that are getting into AI, this is the education that I'm trying to help is get you guys started, get you downloading your first agent, get you building your first large language model project. So the agent is done and now we could see all of the files that it created. I mean, we're talking implementation roadmap, the architecture, wireframing, the PRD and the full research. Everything is done for us by the agent. I mean, this would have taken, if you could even do this, would have taken you probably weeks to put together. And it did it all in like six, seven minutes. So it is pretty crazy. The thing I wanna see though, actually, let me see wireframes. Homepage with simplified UI, mobile version. Wow, so it actually put together all of the different wireframes. Okay, so what I wanna do is I wanna see this next. Let's look at the research. I think we can actually just click in here. So it creates all of the .md. So we could bring this right into the IDE that we, and we can just start building this using code LLM. Let's actually do that. Let me actually see. Okay, check this out. So let's just have some fun. Let's open a folder. So this wasn't part of the video, but let's just do it. So um, let's call this Hunt AI. And this is all for research. I just wanna show you the power of these tools. So now we're gonna go in, we're gonna drag our MD file. This is AI platform. And then we're gonna say this to the agent, current file. Can you give me a full breakdown of how you would build this using next.js? It's gonna go in and start breaking this down fully to actually build our actual product database schemes, API route implementations, product components, authentication, I mean everything because it's all inside this 
super, super detailed. I mean, this PRD is 1,200 lines. So if you guys know code, that is pretty in depth. And it did it all on its own with one prompt that you guys saw. And that is the power of agents now. We're not gonna go build this because I'm not interested in building a product hunt competitor, but I want that light bulb to go off. Whether you're trying to build something else, you're trying to build a social media platform, you're trying to build a game, you're trying to build a full blown SaaS competitor to something, this is what you can do within a few clicks and 10 bucks using Abacus AI. It is pretty crazy the time we're living in and it's just fun to do. So like I said, I'm not interested in cloning Product Hunt because it is a massive undertaking, but the power of this is really, really insane. I hope you guys enjoyed that. This was more of a research video to show you how you could take an idea and trying to stumble through it on your own is not the right route anymore. Use a tool, use an agent to simplify the process, streamline everything, and get a really comprehensive breakdown of what it would take to build. And now you have the whole game plan. You could even put together a pitch deck. You could even put together the website itself, the landing page. All of it can be done by the agent. And like I mentioned, it can code this all for us. So we don't even need to use an outside service. We can get it all done in here, coming up with the stuff, the logic, the, the, the tech, code everything, write all the code for us, and then jump right into the IDE and start building the product. I mean, it is crazy. So I hope you guys enjoyed that, and I'll see you guys in the next video.